Hello friends! Today on Toy Lips we are taking a look at the Gamerverse Miles Morales Spider-Man from the PS4 game Spider-Man Miles Morales. Armadillo Build-A-Figure Wave. Look, it comes with that big old fat leg. Picked this up on Amazon. My Hasbro Pulse pre-order said some nonsense like March. Amazon gets it to you faster, but all smashed up. So, you know, if you're not trying to be an inbox collector, you won't be that mad. But st still, you know what I mean? It's disgusting. Care a little bit. Care a little bit. Yeah, as I, as I just mutilate this box. Just get inside of there. Look at that. And he comes with a whole mess of accessories. It's fine. Hands, heads, power effects. You gotta love it. So here we have Spider-Man, Miles Morales. He was also bitten by a radioactive spider and took up the mantle when his universe's Peter Parker died. He has since crossed over into the main 616 continuity and into many other media as well. Into the Spider-Verse, yeah, has his own video game now. Great, great stuff, and that is what this rendition is based on. The detail on this thing is fantastic. Look at how nice that is. All intricately sculpted here. All, all new parts, more or less, I, I, I do believe. What else are you gonna do with that, you know? This all had to be sculpted just so. Really happy with that. Just clean, pinless joints all over the place. Even on the hands here, so you can tell these. this is not reuse. Uh, spider, raised, sculpt here, line work. And them dancing grandpa shoes. Check out Figure Trap for a full breakdown of how he gets down and a more timely review of this figure that I'm just now getting to. Not mad about this at all. Look at those eyes. A Little bit of paint slop because it's Hasbro and it's a mass market $20 toy. What are you gonna do? Little defects here and there. It's gonna be different on all of them. But if you if you want something nicer, buy the hot toy. You know, it's only it only costs like 10 times as much. But it may be easier to find at some point here. This figure is based specifically on the appearance in the game, so it has those little flourishes, but it is very, very close to his basic comic costume, so it's an easy stand-in anywhere you want it. For articulation, this figure is certainly no slouch. You get a little bit of back on the head there, but there's there's no uh, there's no notch in that. It's just a uh, like a little barbell, little double ball joint. Deal, he can look down some, and you'll get a lot of good tilt on that. Some of that bobblehead in action. Uh, butterfly shoulders, Spider-Man figure. It's almost pretty standard at this point for those, which is, which is fantastic. That shoulder will rotate all the way around. Bicep cut also rotates. A little, little gappage there. It's really, that's really not bad. Nice, double-jointed, pinless elbows. Folds that sucker all the way in half. Hinged at the wrists. Get some good movement there. And all of his extra hands are, are hinged the same. So you're going to get the same thing out of those. Nice ab crunch. Comes forward pretty far. Back pretty well. Waist twist. Breaking that spider back. Does the splits here fully. You kind of got to push that a little bit. But it is it is great. It is great. Back and forward, obstructed a little bit by his Miles butt. But that is that is pretty nice. Upper thigh cut. Twist that sucker all the way around for you. Double jointed, pinless knee. All the way up to here. No, uh, no calf cut. They seem to use that sparingly anymore. Uh, backward and forward on that foot. Really nicely textured. Rocker. Rocking out. For accessories, I think you get a pretty solid assemblage here, including power effect hands, the Venom Blast, 
his bioelectric energy he can discharge, just like a real spider. And this nice uh, unmasked Miles head. Uh, people have said it doesn't look quite like the game. I, I guess I can see that. I do have that game. I've hardly played any. I do enjoy video games. I just don't make any time for them. You know what I mean? Whatever. Uh, but uh, they're throwing it back here like a couple of years when all the Spider-Man figures would come with the wall-crawling hands, fisted hands, web-twipping hands. And that's that's great. That's great. And an extra head. I, I love that there's an extra head power effect. That does it for me. Some webbing effects would be great. More is always better. But this this is awesome, especially in light of these other figures coming with like basically nothing. Thank you guys for this. And don't forget the giant leg. Yeah, Armadillo coming soon. I think I got one more after this guy. Getting a little closer to that Miles head. Look at that, though. That looks really nice. I mean, easily as good as all the Peter Parker heads they've given us that don't really look like, you know, anything specific either. Uh, these hands are really nice. They're sculpted in this translucent yellow plastic here. So it doesn't really it doesn't really blend with anything. He just gets a yellow hand. But uh, you get this like lightning effect sort of sculpted on there. And that that's great. These other hands, I'm sure you you know, we've all seen crap like this before. Not unwelcome at all. Some people don't consider these quite accessories, but it's not like he has articulated fingers, and I, I don't want articulated fingers. But I do want a range of options for expression, and uh, hands hands are, are right up there with that. So that, that is awesome. Checking his height, this gamer vs. Spider-Man stands about six and a quarter inches tall. Kicking off the comparisons, here he is next to the other Spider-Men from this wave, the MCU Tom Holland Spider-Men, and I think that at about the same age, Miles is a little taller, so maybe. Here he is with JJ and Doc Strange. And here he is next to Shriek and the highly articulated, highly desirable Spider-Man. And he may run a little big. He scales, he scales all right, though. And here he is with the Spider-Verse Gwen and Pete. Always nice to see them together. And here he is next to Uncle Aaron and one of my few Gamerverse figures, the Joe Fixit. Had to have that sucker when I saw that was a bath. A uh, big fan of that classic 80s, 90s comics, you know. Um, wasn't too keen on all of the Gamerverse stuff. Didn't think they were that hot. Would have bought that original Iron Man had I ever seen it. Everybody apparently hates that game, but 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 they just secretly they're buying all the toys anyway. What the hell is that? I slept on that original Gamerverse PS4 Spider-Man figure because I kind of thought the same thing. Like, people wouldn't really care that much about it. Never did see it except once at a secondary store and it was like $45. And I'm not I'm not going to pay that for a $20 toy. Get real. Getting out there, I got the DC Collectibles Robin from the uh, Ninja Turtles Batman crossover and the NECA Ninja Turtles Rocksteady. I wish I had more Miles figures to throw in here. But uh, I, I got the Spider-Verse one, but I perched him like 30 feet up the tree in my backyard when I moved in. And that's, he's just living up there, weathered some storms. It's been great. I just, I see it, catch a glimpse of him every once in a while, still hanging on. Uh, I, I missed out on that last one, the, the Venom Space Knight. And I, I remember, I remember passing by that way old one, that first one they gave us that was just a repaint on the Peter Parker body. And I wasn't really collecting the toys then. And I was just like, Psh, whatever with that crap. This one is great, though. This one is great. So I'm glad I held out and uh, pinless joints and it, secondary prices on them other ones, man. Like, what do you mean $100 for that one? And this is a way better figure and you could get it for retail? Fine, then. I'm just going to sit on a couple of them. Bruh, don't be so bitter about the toys. <laughs> the Marvel Legends 2 Emo for Pizza Spider-Man and the Marvel Legends Morning Coffee Mostly Bucky Cap Deadpool. Thanks, guys. To sum it all up, I love this figure. All this extra attention to detail, unique sculpt, the accuracy of the thing, uh, all these extra hands, you get an extra head and power effects. I don't really have anything bad to say about it. Uh, as far as Marvel Legends stuff goes, the, the articulation is about as good as you can get. It's not quite as smooth as, say, that, uh, that new highly articulated Spider-Man. Um, and some calf cuts, 
would be killer, but everything else, everything else is just, it's right on the money. I can't think of anything bad to say about this figure. You could always ask for more, but at what point are you just being greedy? I don't know. It's Hasbro who's being greedy. We don't need to trip here. This is nice, and it, it sort of makes up for all the other figures in this wave that come with, like, nothing. You know what I mean? Oh, the Build-A-Figure is real big. Don't let that eat into the other figures, though, man. The Build-A-Figure should be some cool extra. It shouldn't be something that eats into them. Because this dude came with a big old leg and a whole bunch of hands and an extra head and power effects. So what's the reasoning be behind that integrated suit coming with nothing other than the fact that you just knew that would move? You know what I'm saying? And what, what, what am I doing now? Now I'm just ranting. But uh, no, I love this thing. I would give this a four and a half out of five. Super stoked on this figure. Don't know why everyone appears to be sleeping on it because it is still readily available. Go out and get you one right now before it's $100 next year. You know what I mean? If I could find that stealth variant, I will probably pick him up too. I guess they could throw in a cat in a backpack and some webbing effects. More webbing effects for Spider-Man toys would be great. Look at like the Hot Toys accessories, even though they might reuse some web effects between them, the Spider-Man toys. You're still getting web effects with every Spider-Man figure. It's great. It's really great. And I, I do have that Hot Toy of this figure on pre-order. I got another payment or two or whatever, but I guess it's shipping. It's shipping now. People are getting that sucker. If I paid it off, I could get that sucker. But you know, whatever. We're, we're trying to be responsible here. Breathe. Don't spend all your money on toys. Just, you know, most, most of it. Most of it. <laughs> So thanks for bearing with me, guys. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends. Let's talk about this stuff. Watch out for those goddamn eels. I got fear on my lips. Toy that I'm touching, I don't wanna put them down. I still don't wanna talk about them. Yes, fresh. Smell the plastic that I crave. I wanna shove. I can't be having Bruce Banner. I'm Dr. Robert Banner. I'm Bruce Jenner. And you can call me after dinner. We can talk comic books, but we're here to talk toys. Be proud. Make noise.